everyone, my name is Haley. My name is Meetom. And my name is Amy. And we will be juggling for you all today. Now the basic definition of juggling is known as using one or more hands to manipulate one or more objects for amusement or pleasure. But because that's such a loose definition, it can be, juggling is defined as a lot of things. However, the most common form of juggling, toss juggling, is what me and my friends will be doing for you today. Now, there's many things you can toss juggle. There's custom made clubs, that you can do pom poms, apples, you name it. However, we will be using these homemade balls, and my friend Me Tom will be explaining that tonight. Hi, I'm Me Tom, and as Haley was saying, these balls are actually homemade. All of the balls that we have here on set are also homemade. And so what we used was balls from a ball pit that we bought at a separate store. And we cut holes on top and we filled it with granulated salt. And when you, do, and when you make these at home, you can put whatever granulated stuff you want. It, as long as you fill up a fourth of the way and then you seal it with hot glue and then you can decorate it with electrical tape. And I brought mine home today. And these are Avenger balls that I made at home. This is half of what I have. And I brought here with me Hulk and Iron Man, and also Thor, the little hammer and flowing blonde hair. See, so this is kind of a fun activity that you can do at home if you're bored, and you can, and it's really easy to get all of these items. And also, they're really fun. You should do it. All right, now we'll be teaching you how to juggle. First, you take all three balls, throw them up without any attempt to catch them. This teaches you discipline and that you need to pick them up. Okay. First, and then you start with one ball and you throw them with your hands at hip level up to eye level in sort of a scooping motion. And you continue until you get really consistent at it. Then you can start with your second ball. So. After, you, when you throw your first ball, it should go up to the top of the arc, and as it's coming down, you throw your second ball up to the same height. So it looks like this. And you should start like, with your left hand first, and then your right hand first, and go back and forth. And when you get that, you can go with your third ball, and it's just like two balls. You throw when the one before gets to the top of the arc. And then you can juggle, woo! Yay! <laughs> because juggling is fun and amazing. Hey. Now we're going to do a few tricks for you guys. We're going to do a round of tricks that we've all learned together. Um, I've been juggling for about two years now. You've I'm been juggling for about five four? Years? Five years. Five years. She's uh, the experienced person. <laughs> yes. and we'll be doing the really hard <laughs> tricks. And me, Tom's been... The rookie, only one year. And she's Fabulous with us. She's it. like, awesome. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we're going to do some tricks for you. I need the blue ball. Okay. Um, shall we? The trick I'm doing right now is known as the half shower. And Amy knows the full shower. So this is full shower. Okay. And I'm doing no shower. Instead, this is called columns. Actually, these are called fake columns because I'm using my hand to make the balls at the same level. This is how you practice, and if you want to go full columns, then you drop all of them, pick <laughs> them back up because you're disciplined people, and then you do it again. Like, not like that. Instead, like this. Boop, boop. Um, once you already know the basics of how to juggle with just this, you can also use the rest of your body. For me, I prefer my legs to add to the trick. So I'm going to do it once without my leg, where I throw this ball higher oops, um, from my left hand, like that. So then I have the time to throw under my leg. Do it one more. Ta-da! OK, and you can also throw them in a different way. So instead of throwing and catching underhand, like I am right now, you can catch overhand. This is called claws. And the way you learn this is just like regular juggling, except overhand. OK, one of the few more basic tricks that you can learn is something called tennis. And I'll be demonstrating that with my mate Iron Man 
and Thor and a tennis ball. So what you do is you start with your basic three ball juggling and then when the tennis ball gets to my left hand, I will throw it over and just keep bouncing it over like you're volleying when you're playing tennis. And then you can interchange back and forth from regular to tennis. And it's one of the first tricks that I learned. It's simple enough and it's really fun. Now, I said we can juggle other things. I have an apple for you guys. And also, unfortunately, these balls are not homemade. These are not homemade by us. One of our robotics mentors actually made them for me. Um, but you can also, after using some basic tricks, darn it, eat and juggle at the same time. Scrumptious. Mm -hmm. And fun. Don't forget Oh yeah. There we go. Some other tricks that you can do other than eating are pair tricks, actually. Um, Amy and I will demonstrate how you can juggle with a buddy. You take three balls and you start off with two, but you only each of you only use one of your arms. So we'll demonstrate. As you can see, it's pretty cool. And you can get chummy with your best friends like this, <laughs> and you can really bond, and it's a great, great trick to do. And it amazes all the kids. Oh my god, you should see <laughs> what the kids say when we do this. It's even, really cool. Even though this is somewhat easier than normal juggling. It is. Well, I think it's because we're very in tune to each other, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. And they're the same height, just saying. They're shorter than me. <laughs> <laughs> By like half an inch. Yeah. But you can also expand on that and do it with three people. Ooh. We like to call this the bop, bop, because bop. we say bop, bop, bop. It helps with our timing. It does, bop. and it's kind of cute. Bop, 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 bop. Woo, bop. <laughs> now, another thing that you can do with juggling is you can juggle fancy stuff like pins. Yes, specially made pins, might we yes. say. And Amy here will show you because she's a pro. Ooh. Not like that. <laughs> Discipline, remember that. Yes. Yes. So you just twirl and juggle like normal. Now I know it may seem kind of daunting at first, but there are some tips to help you learn, learn this very fabulous, oh, fabulous indeed. trick. <laughs> when you start so, off, yeah. you start with Three? For learning how to juggle, juggle um, pins. I know one oh, of the problems right. for when you're just learning basic juggling in general is the runner's man juggling. Right. Which is a problem I think all of us experienced at some point. A good way to stop that is running in front of a or is juggling in front of a wall, but that's known when you throw outward by an accident and the balls run away in front of you. Known as runner's man. Um, best way to solve that is in front of a wall. Though the main issue for that is you're not throwing consistently. So you have to practice this over again and over. until it's boring. But then it's worth it in the end. It is. Okay, now I guess I'll teach you how to juggle with a club. So you start with one club and two balls. And you juggle like normal, except with a club. And when you get good at that, you lose one ball, you do two, two clubs. So. And then you can go on with three clubs. Woo. And remember, this isn't gonna happen in like a day. What kind of did for me? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It, it comes with a lot of practice and like, I mean, when we say start with one, we actually mean start with one because I mean, that's how we all started. We didn't start with three or four, you know, they always say you got to learn how to walk before you jog marathon. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, I, I think it's really fun and we've all been doing it and we're going to keep on doing it. Haley and Amy are actually going to continue in college doing it. Yeah, yeah there's a juggling um, club at the school we're going to be going to. And they are amazing. They can juggle five balls. I'm not that experienced yet. Um, however, though, I know I did try to do the three balls in the very beginning. And then I just cried because they would all fall on the ground. 
but it worked out in the end. Um, but there is one other trick that I would like to do, um, but I think we have run out of time for tonight. So I guess we say thank you all. And, well, no, Amy, can you show them Mills Mess? Huh, all right. Because that's like my favorite trick. It's like magic, her hands okay. cross over, and I just can't do it. It's too I'm, good to pass up. Yeah, I know, it's too good to pass up. Yeah. I haven't learned it yet. I'm wanting to learn it. That's why I've been like studying for a year. <laughs> oh, yeah, and haven't gotten it yet. But so it, it took me about two weeks to learn this. But I, I don't, I guess that's the average time. So you just cross your hands. How did she do that? Like that, right? <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it. Yep. Yeah. yep. No, just kidding. Um, thank you all again. My name is Haley. My name is me, Tom. And my name is Amy. Hope you all have a good night, and I hope you enjoyed our performance. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see.